Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch, and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. Good morning from the studio. So um, I have the wax turned on and I thought I would have a conversation with you all about what is going to be happening the next month and a half. Uh, we have some pretty big news, I think. All right, and that news is that we've been kind of given the opportunity, or rather we're going to take the opportunity because we've been given some time here to travel actually. And so we were going to be leaving West Virginia, which seems crazy. And we're going to be gone for about a month and a half. We're taking the camper, the bubble, and yeah, we're going to be headed south very quickly because we're trying to like get out of the cold weather very quickly because we do have the camper and it is not winterized. So we don't want water lines and things like that to freeze if we can at all prevent that. So um, we're going to be heading south very, very quickly and then west. So we're headed southwest. So I uh, think Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, that area. Um, we are both very excited about this. And we are also both planning on working from the road. So I think this will be a good test uh, to see how that works out. So I am in the studio today to show you what I'm going to be taking. Now, we have a small camper, right? It's not huge. And most of the space is going to be taken up with clothes and food. So I can't take, you know, my griddle and torch and all of that stuff. It's just not practical. And I also don't know how much time I'm going to have to create but I thought I would kind of share with you what I'm going to be taking. And if you hear that clicking in the background, the wax is on for, um, sorry, my hair is being a pain right now. Uh, the wax is on because I'm going to be putting some wax down onto a sketchbook so that some of the pages already have some color on them. So um, let me show you what I've got going on here. All right, this is a sketchbook that I made forever ago. Actually, I think it was before I even started doing YouTube videos. So basically, it's just a leather um, cover. And then on the inside, I sewed these pockets. So this one has just an opening right here. And then here it has little things where you could put, you know, your ID, wallet, whatever, so that if I wanted to take this, you know, someplace, I don't need to also carry wallet and stuff like that. I can just stick everything in here. So that's this first cover piece. Sorry, I can't get all of it in the camera. <laughs> and then on the inside here, I have some mixed media papers and they're all blank and these can slide in and out so I could take them in and out if I wanted to and then this back piece here is a zipper pocket so I can store um, more supplies and zip this pocket up. So I'm definitely taking this and I'm debating on taking more um, mixed media pages, but I think this is probably gonna be enough. 
I really don't know how much I'm going to get creating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip these pages out of this sketchbook and dip them onto the griddle in the wax and that way I'll just have kind of a jumping off point. I have some wax on some of the pages um, just so it's not a completely blank page if I have time, hopefully when I have time to create on these pages. All right, I just picked out a few colors and I'm going to use, um, this is Encausticos Raw Umber, RNF Turkey Umber Pale. This is a random gray color that I used, that I got from Drip Tray. So um, this is just a random purpley kind of gray color. Um, this is a sap green that I made with oil paint. This is black currant red, which is from, um, or I made with this using earth pigments, the black currant red. And then this is another Encausticos Harvest Moon. So those are the colors that I think I'm going to kind of just splash across these pages. flip through these oh and I should say the beauty about being able to take this in and out of the book is not only it can lay perfectly flat but also you know if I want to work like this way I can work this way if I want to work on you know a complete two page um, let me move the camera back a bit here we go if you want to work on like a complete two page spread I can do that. I can, um, you know, if I don't like the orientation, I can flip things upside down. There's not really any right or wrong way to um, use this, I feel. So anyways, let me just do this and flip through for you. Um, and these are not anything real pretty right now. I mean, they're just, there's just some basic color down on these pages. They're not meant to be finished anything, but, um, let's see if I can get you in view here. Hang on. All right. I think this is going to be good. So just a quick flip through. Again, nothing fancy on these pages. Just got some paint down on them and it'll be a, um, you know, lovely little jumping off starting point. Some of them have more white space than other pages. Not real concerned with how they look exactly right now. I, I've decided to slide a piece of uh, wax paper in here just to protect the fabric from this wax book from when I slide it in then I mean the 
paint shouldn't come off onto the fabric, but just in case I leave it in the hot car or something like that, then um, it should protect it a little bit. All right, and then in this um, front pocket here, I'm gonna slide in two paper towels and just some scrap pieces of mixed media paper. So if I wanna, you know, scribble on them or test out a pen or something like that, I have some scrap pieces along with a couple paper towels if I need to wipe something up. So that's going in this front pocket. All right, I thought I would show you the other things I'm taking. Sorry about the glare on this. These are the Neo Color 2 crayons, and this case I have just kept. These this set didn't actually all come together, but um, I've kept, and it's it it'll work out nicely for traveling because it'll keep them safe in here, hopefully from breaking. Even though um, this one is already broken, they're well loved and used. But um, there's the colors on that swatch. You can kind of see the colors that I'm taking. So I'm taking those. I'm taking two pencils. Um, this is a 4B pencil. And then this is uh, Prismacolor, the turquoise pencils. This is also a 4B. So um, just these two regular plain old pencils. And then some various widths of India ink Faber Castell and this is a Stadler Stadler Luma color. So I'm taking a couple pens, black pens, and then two Stabilo Marksall pencils, one brown, one black. A pencil sharpener for that will work with the Neo color crayons and of course these regular pencils here a water brush that I can fill with water. I'm not gonna fill it till we get there, but, um, or till I wanna use it, but just a plain old water brush here. And then I'm also taking a plastic bag. I'm gonna put the pencils and things in it and then into the sleeve, but then this I can also use as a trash bag if I'm out in nature somewhere and I wanna sharpen a pencil, I'm not leaving the shavings on the ground. I can just put them in the plastic bag and empty the plastic bag when we get to um, trash area. So that's it, my teeny tiny little supplies. And I thought about taking some like watercolor paints or some more wet media with us, but we're gonna be dry camping quite a bit, off grid quite a bit and dry camping quite a bit. And so I'm um, gonna to have to conserve the water. So the little water brush, this little reservoir of water uh, won't take up a whole lot of our water supply. So that's my plan for that. All right, now that this is pretty much all packed up, nice and compact, I am going to go get the rest of the camper packed and I'm also planning on taking um, my socks to knit, a few pairs of socks, maybe, maybe just one pair, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, and my crochet blanket that I've been working on. So, sorry, that's my phone. So I should have plenty of projects, creative projects to work on and I'm hoping to get some sketching in, but we'll just see. We wanna explore a lot and um, so yeah, we'll just see how much free time we have. I'm also, like I said, planning on editing videos and creating videos for you guys. So I might be doing that in my free time as well. Anyways, let's get to packing the rest of the camper and I'll kind of show you guys a little sneak peek into the process of that and kind of how we get everything jammed into the camper for a month and a half. All right, I thought I would show you what other uh, creative projects I'm taking. We pretty much have the camper packed up. So after I show you these few things, I thought I would give you a, a quick tour in there and kind of show you the space that we're working with in the camper. All right, so here's the pile, and I'll kind of go through 
each container here first. All right, so in this bag, I am going to be taking some more sock yarn. I'm gonna start another pair of socks, and this is basically um, these two balls and some needles, some scissors, things like that are in there, along with um, a contrasting color. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or not, but all of that is going to live in this bag. And the plan is to knit socks while riding. Um, I'm not gonna be driving for a portion of the time. I'm probably gonna take turns driving. So since I don't sit still well, I'm gonna be knitting. This is gonna be car knitting sock time. All right, up next is this little basket. And this is where the crochet blanket has been living. And so I'm gonna take this whole thing and then um, it kind of fits in there with the yarn. This orange yarn goes in there too. With the yarn underneath, it fits in there pretty nicely still. If I just kind of smoosh it down in there. And then this um, crochet hook just sits right in there as well. And this, my plan is to work on in the evenings if um, we're just chilling out in the camper. Um, I don't think we're gonna have too many campfires because um, where we're going, a lot of there's a lot of like no burn policies in effect because it's pretty dry there. So, um, but yeah, this is my plan for this is to continue on with this blanket and this is gonna just pretty much hang out in the camper. And then this is the last bin of uh, supplies, if you will. And this, I have extra yarn for the crochet blanket. And then I also have some extra sock yarns in here. I'm hoping to possibly get a couple pairs of socks done. And um, this is actually, so all of this yarn is um, inexpensive sock yarn. It's nothing fancy. You can get it at the big box stores. But I'm basically practicing with this until I get good at it. And then I'm going to use the hand not, um, dyed from like the small indie dyer yarns. But anyways, this particular yarn, I'm hoping to knit Matt a pair of socks with. So, but again, we'll see how far this goes. I may be um, overly ambitious with these projects. We'll see. And I should also say that this bin, we have a um, coat closet in the camper. I'll show you it in a second or so. And this is gonna live in the back of that coat closet because there's some excess space down there. And it's just gonna kind of hang out in the back until I need something and I can just pull it out. While I was showing you stuff, I just thought I would show you this sock. I, it's been blocked. It's not perfect, but um, I am pretty happy with how the first sock came out. I don't think I showed you this before, but this is sock number one attempt. And here's the second sock to that pair. I'm almost to the toe down here, so I'm hoping to finish this sock, we have about a couple days-ish before we're gonna leave. So we'll see if I get this sock done or not, but that is my goal is to finish this sock before we leave. All right, I'll come on in. We give you a quick tour of our home for the next month and a half or so. Don't mind the squeaky stairs <laughs> as Matt comes up them. But basically, we have in this area, can you see it all? Sure. Um, this folds down. This is the bed. Nothing too fancy and exciting. Here is coat closet number one. And that's where I stuck that box of yarn way back in there. You're not going to be able to see it. But it's you don't have to trust me. It's in there. And then... On this side, we have another hanging storage area, and 
Matt has some collared shirts and things like that for work in there. A lovely couch area. <laughs> and then... Insert picture of me reclining. Right? <laughs> and then over here we have our very large kitchen area. Kitchen sink, of course. Underneath this mat is a three burner gas propane I should say stove which works quite nicely up top behind these lovely postcard doors we have I'm going in and out a lot here are you making the people dizzy I don't know okay they'll have to let us know in the comments <laughs> great hopefully not this is where we keep the majority of our dishes nothing too too exciting oh and our coffee pot and coffee is up here oh, very important no this is more important for stacy <laughs> wine glass <laughs> it's beer a wine glass. glass she has to live with me <laughs> then uh down below here this is just pots and pans again nothing super exciting but it works and then dinette area normally we don't it's a little bit more cleaned up but what were you gonna say what do you mean more cleaned up there's nothing on it well there's pillows and rugs that haven't quite been situated yet well, he forgot this lovely storage area here oh yeah I, and i think we've shown a lot of this before so if this is a repeat for some of you i'm all sorry it's kind of our junk drawer area but it's got some games lighters suntan lotion bug spray just general storage and these I, I happen to make. Handmade so. with love. Right. Also this is too. Yeah. Little, little cork board, key holder, and flip up for all of our switches. And the reality is that was made to cover up the blue lights because when we're sleeping, they're bright. <laughs> so then above the dinette, this is food storage, which I still need to... We should up. probably get more food. Yeah. We're going to starve. <laughs> I have to go to the grocery store still. I would like to take a moment to, you know, hope for a sponsorship from Hop and Frog because um, the reason we have so many Hop and Frog uh, boxes, I, I don't know why we have so many, <laughs> but uh, they happen to fit perfectly as storage in our units here. So those uh, nice little beer can. And if boxes. you're in the Akron, Ohio. Akron, area, Ohio, Hop and Frog, you got to go. It's so good. Not, really nice not people. sponsored, but yeah, awesome. nice people and good beer. All right, I don't know how both of us are going to fit in this bathroom because it's oh tight. no, it's I'm in the mirror. <laughs> see, oh. <laughs> okay, maybe here. <laughs> Just stop the video for a second. Oh, pause. All right, pretty basic bathroom. Not too much more that you could ask for. Typical RV toilet, and then small sink little tiny cabinet down there which we just have some cleaning stuff in a trash can and a shower which is actually a pretty decent size um the tub is not really a tub but <laughs> it works what do you mean the tub doesn't work it's perfect <laughs> it's very small <laughs> oh good grief i don't know how you're gonna get out of there now <laughs> All right, so back to the tour here. On this side, we have um, toiletries and this is all of our clothes for the next month and a half, other than of course the coat closet. And then we just have some extra blankets and sheets and things like that down there. And then behind here, just your typical medicine cabinet. And there you have it, the tour. Oh, exhaust fan also in the bathroom, which comes in very handy when it's hot out. There you have it, quick tour of the camper. Anything else to add? We should give them a tour on the road. Yeah, <laughs> I just figured I would show you the space because you're probably going to be seeing hopefully a lot of it in the next month and a half. So you kind of have the general layout anyways but um it's it's nice it works right it's perfect yeah. 
for two. I don't know that I'd recommend many more. Yeah, they say it sleeps four. That dinette, there's no way it sleeps two people. Two kids, dogs. <laughs> Very small person. We've maybe. seen it. It happens. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I'm going to let you go here for this one. We're going to just finish. We have to, oh, I didn't show you the fridge. Hang on. I don't know if you caught this on the video, but we do have our microwave. We don't typically use it because we are off grid most of the time. And that requires um, more power than our solar panels. But um, the fridge is actually a pretty good size. Right now there is nothing in it other than some baking soda. But again, I have to go to the grocery store. That's the last minute thing. And there's even a little tiny mini freezer up here, but um, yeah, it's a good size. Plenty of food for a month and a half. <laughs> I've stolen the camera, coming back at you. If my filming was too in and out, put a bunch of those little emojis, puke emojis in the comments. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Alright, so like I was saying, I think I'm going to leave you here with this one. Just kind of a quick video uh, as far as how we pack the camper, what we take, all of that good stuff. And um, yeah, we're going to catch you on the road next. Hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to keep up with the videos. I have no idea what our internet situation or lack of internet situation and cell phone signals are going to be like. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get enough of a signal to upload videos, but um, yeah. Any other thoughts? Desert has really clear skies. We should be perfect. <laughs> right, right. Satellites, towers, should have no problem in the <laughs> desert. In theory. <laughs> oh, I should say, um, I'll try to show you, um, I think I might have already shown you the route, but um, if you have any suggestions on places to stop, even I think coming home we might be going through... Arkansas, Oklahoma area, we're not 100% sure, but if you have any recommendations, Southwest areas, um, definitely let me know down there below in the comments. Um, we would love to check them out. We are going to be somewhat limited on time because we do need to get back in that month and a half time, but um, yeah. So anyways, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Triple lifetime. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up for us, guys. Alright, bye for now.